And now to uh, give you a bit of a background of our U.S.-China joint pre-veterinary and veterinary program, the director of the U.S.-China Center for Animal Health, Dr. Jishu Shi. Okay, well, thank you uh, very much for sharing part of your <coughs> afternoon with us. Uh, it's really a nice day. Um, in the next 10 minutes, hopefully it won't take that long, I'm going to share with you the history of this program, so uh, where it's come from. And it's really international partnership with government, universities, and industry. Um, as you can see the logo here, um, so I cannot talk about this program without telling you a little bit more about the U.S. China Center. So who we are, um, Center is a uh, K-State-based uh, veteran education service center for uh, the improvement of Chinese animal health. Uh, it's a long paragraph I'm going to read to you. So education, research, regulatory, and industry workforce. And also we will help U.S. and Chinese animal health companies that access to the Chinese or the U.S. Uh, market, uh, respectively. So you see the picture here. That's Dean Richardson, and this is we took the picture in 2010. It's really um, the three of us, um, after actually uh, a, a meeting, I went to St. Louis about um, Midwest China Hub Commission. So we came up with um, thinking that we can do something in China. So that's really the first time. It's really uh, from uh, Dean Richardson and uh, Dean uh, Frank Blecker, and we started to work on this. And Dr. Mason was also. I think came in May, right? April or May, uh, when you came here. I think we talked about this immediately when uh, uh, Provost Mason is here. So what we do, we have four different missions. Uh, the one highlight here is improve the DVM training system in China. Um, because I was trained, my veterinary education was trained in China. And I also uh, teach the first year students here, so I know the difference. I taught in two, uh, the other school, uh, Auburn University, before. So I do believe there's uh, uh, room for improvement in Chinese uh, DVM training system. Um, so the plan is to have 10, 20, 10 DVM students each year uh, for, from China, if we can. And the other uh, three is mainly on um, continuing education and also help industries. So I'm not <coughs> going to go through that uh, in detail. But so the, they were focusing on the DVM training programs. So the U.S.-China Joint DVM program uh, is really um, uh, a development in three years. Uh, our goal is to establish a partnership with China Scholarship Council and 15 colleges of veterinary medicine in the U.S. and China. So I'm going to show you who, who they are, uh, the universities. Basically, we're train the trainers of veterinary medicine. So the impact of this program, probably won't see it until probably five or ten years from now but it's an important uh, step for us to do it. And also create an opportunity for the world's uh, most influential, I think, uh, leaders in animal health, both in the US and China, to become colleagues and best friends today. So if there are classmates today, and they will be easier to work together uh, 10 years or 15 years from now. So, so what do we do, this program, so in working with, uh, this is very important, is uh, working with a China Scholarship Council, our plan is in the next 10 years, we'll train 50 DVM students from China in six colleges of veterinary medicine in the US. So each year, up to 10 students will be selected from seniors in the Chinese uh, <coughs> universities to enroll uh, at K-State for one year pre-veterinary studies uh, with full scholarship tuition and living expenses uh, from U.S. China Center uh, for Animal Health from K-State. I have to say that their flight uh, tickets are bought by China Scholarship Council. So they're, uh, there's from the beginning, they're really a joint program. And then KSU will help those students to uh, acclimate and also get into, admitted to the DVM programs in the partnering veterinary college in the U.S. And those students will study at one of the six colleges uh, in the U.S. Uh, with full scholarship, tuition, and living expenses uh, from China Scholarship Council. And this is a very generous scholarship. 
as far as I know, there's no scholarship bigger than this in, in the world anywhere. So um, those people who are selected here is really lucky. And I want to and I show you several slides uh, to show that how we start this. Um, so this is almost uh, like three years ago, a little bit over three years ago, 2010. And I can see here, uh, this is in the tea house. You already see that, I give up the idea. So it's a Sunday, and again, the day is a Sunday too, so I realized. And in the center here, this is, uh, at that time, he's uh, Secretary General of the Chinese Veteran Medical Association, also the Deputy Director General for the Bureau of Veterans Services in the MOA. So we invited him out for uh, tea. I just want to talk about these ideas. It just happened, uh, this is from then Pfizer Animal Health um, uh, officer um, in Asia, and this Yung Sheng Wang, and we were classmates and roommates, so it's very easy. And he was my upper classmate too. So, and this is another case, the alum, uh, alum that he was Dr. Blanca's postdoc here. So we all know each other back 30 years ago. So it's easy to have somebody work on Sunday if you have tea, so it's, it's easy. And so we talked to him, and he thought that's a good idea, really. And this is in March, I think. Um, and I think in, when we came back, when I came back, so I thought, that's good, so can we do this? So that's where we have meetings with our uh, senior uh, uh, administration here. Um, I didn't have the slide, but I'm gonna talk about that later. Um, <coughs> This is, uh, so how do you do that? It just costs a lot of money to do this. So we talked to, at that time, this is the first time, six months later, we talked to China Scholarship Council in one of their meetings. This is the one of the meeting, actually Dean Shangtin went with me. Uh, this is the Dean from China Agriculture University. Um, that's one of the Secretary Generals, for, uh, deputies from CSC. And, and Dr. Dung is also uh, from CSC. So that's a possibility. And, so another uh, few weeks later, uh, Dean Richardson visit in China, and we began to, this is uh, Director Down. At that time, about a week later, he became the Director General for the Bureau of Veteran Services. And this is a person who can become the Secretary General for CVMA. Um, and so it just happened we know each other also for a long time. So, um, and here is, this is uh, President Jia at that meeting. This is the first Chinese veteran Medical Association meeting. So uh, Dean Richardson was invited to VIP for that keynote speech at that night. And this is a year later, so uh, this is uh, Dr. Tsai. He then became the Secretary General for CVMA, so case visit K-State, and to learn what is a DVM. So in China, we don't call DVM. And so where it's been produced. So we the West School, and he <coughs> stayed here. He and his assistant, uh, associate director, uh, secretary general, Dr. Wang stayed here for a week. So really, they really want to learn what is DVM. And they stayed for a week, and this is Dr. Marcelo. And uh, so, as you can see, his hand is really full, and he really <laughs> wants to get collaboration going to, to uh, make it happen. So that's 2011. Um, this is a back in February 2012. So I went back to uh, China again and talked to the China Scholarship Council. And so one of the obvious questions is if we want to do this, can we afford to do the DVM education? So in that meeting, I think uh, it came to uh, our mind that CSC think is possible financially. I think that's just a, a possibility at that time. So we need to find our money in this uh, game. So uh, I put it here that it took, uh, takes a worldwide collaboration uh, to educate a one Chinese DVM. <laughs> it, it's true, because this is an IVCC meeting uh, in 2012, on March 15th, uh, K-State Olesa. So it's really in this meeting, we got the grant from uh, this uh, consortium to, uh, to train the first year student. That's all your uh, first year scholarship is come from uh, this uh, group, actually. Uh, as you can see, um, senior vice president from Pfizer Animal Health then, now called Zoetis. Uh, Dr. Michelle uh, Haven is there, and I think it's very important for that. And Dean uh, Lisa Nolan from Iowa State, and I also have to say Dean uh, Trevor Ames is here, I'm glad, uh, from Minnesota. 
and there are several other from uh, UC Davis and also from University of Nottingham and the Royal College of London. So are here. So it's really a world collaboration to make it happen. And there are other Pfizer and, um, friends there. But to really put everything, um, make it real happen is really one separate. Uh, Jinghui Liu was here last May uh, of talking with uh, President Charles and uh, Provost Mason, I think, in this meeting. And that's really, CSE, yes, we'll support this. So this is really what happened, and, and we can do this. So that's where uh, we began to, I think we went back in June to start select students. So that's the first group of students was selected. Uh, so this is really a historic moment. I think without this, um, we won't have the money for the next four years, and that won't happen. So. And this is 2000, uh, June 2012, so we went back and slept, meet with Secretary Liu uh, and, and Meng Li there, so at CSC. And this is to the different universities we interviewed those students. And here are the four students. Here's Jason and this, uh, this one, uh, Ying Zhen from CSC, and this is Bo Liu and Yao Qinshen, and this Meng Li, and this is Yi Ding. Those are the four students um, at CSC, I believe, is in Beijing before they came here. And this is also from Chicago. So our consulate uh, general uh, from Chicago also cares about those students. Actually, immediately when they are here, uh, this is uh, director from the education section, uh, <coughs> uh, Wei Jiaqin, came here. Uh, council, uh, we came here um, and visited the four students. And now we have council uh, general um, Zhao is here too. So you are not forgotten when you are here. So. Um, and obviously, you know, is for the students to grow, to learn. Um, the college put a lot of efforts in this. Um, you can Dean Richardson, um, Dean Frank Blacka, and Dean Elmore has put a lot of energy and time to educate, uh, to really advise the students. Uh, I was there just to take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> and so last year, when we were in China, um, so this is the celebration, the beginning of this program, real official lunch. So this is in, in, I think, the third Chinese uh, Veteran Medical Association's annual meeting, where um, Secretary General Liu uh, signed, and with uh, Dean Richardson, of his signed agreement, I think, for this program. Uh, <coughs> Dean Richardson, on behalf of the university, I believe, uh, that's what happened. Uh, so there's many people here uh, behind that. This is the Secretary General uh, of CBMA, Dr. Tsai, and this is the uh, <coughs> Deputy Council, uh, Deputy Director from uh, Ministry of Agri um, Agriculture, and this is uh, President Liu. Uh, president Jia is here, and also have American uh, AVMA President, uh, World Veterinary Association President, and uh, as you again see, I have the best job, I just stand there. So, um, that's uh, Director uh, Doom there. And we also had good celebrations there too, <laughs> just to show you. And we had champagnes, and uh, Chef Liu make sure they put it in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's 2012. Um, uh, in the next few slides, I really want to mention that this won't happen without many, many people's help, many organizations. On top is really the China Scholarship Council because they put the most money here, and Chef Liu um, also. Uh, uh, another secretary, uh, deputy secretary, and uh, directors among these here, and also um, Yuan Jun is here. I think I forgot the name. Sorry, um, from Chinese Ministry of Agriculture, uh, Director Zhang, and also uh, Deputy uh, Director General from Dr. Huang. And I, I was told that uh, Dr. Zhang didn't become the Chief Veterinary Officer for China um, pretty soon. And Chinese Veterinary Medical Association President Jia is here. Um, it's very hard to get uh, President Jia uh, outside China, um, and I'm glad he can come. That's, uh, for everybody who knows Chinese regulations, uh, it's almost impossible. Um, and Dr. Tsai, um, Dr. Uh, Wang, so all those people, uh, uh, Ming Wang from the China Agriculture University is more important too. Here is General uh, Cons Consulate of China. Um, Dr. Uh, General Counsel Zhao is here, and with busy schedule, I know he has to leave right after this event. So we really appreciate your presence here. And Zoetis, uh, formerly Pfizer Animal Health, and there are many people, Listy, I probably forgot some. 
but uh, this is uh, important and in international veteran collaboration. Again, <coughs> mentioned, uh, Dean Ames. Uh, also, uh, another person is uh, Qi Jingdang, who represents Iowa State, is here, Associate Dean. And Shoreline and Siva are supported, and Banfield, I also want to mention that they supported our uh, pre vet programs too, so it's very important uh, to acknowledge them. Here are the partnering universities. Uh, there are nine in China. I'm not going to go through the list. The highlighted four ones are the ones we already have students on campus from those universities. We did get uh, applications from those other universities, but we only chose four. And here are the partnering uh, universities in the US, University of Minnesota, Iowa State, uh, UC Davis, University of Missouri, and Oklahoma State University. Obviously, we cannot do this without support from our university. And on top is uh, uh, our provost, April Mason. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. And I still remember, they, I don't know if you, if you remember, uh, when we, Dean Richardson and Doug Black, we went to your office, talked about this idea before my uh, vacation, actually. Uh, I said, if you support this, I will do this. If you don't, it's okay. I will just drink with my friends. <laughs> and, and, and that's, so I, I did not just drink, so it did work. Um, and it's true, I, I remember that. And uh, so Dean Richardson and Dean Frank Black, I think without their leadership and support and guidance, I think this won't happen, really. Uh, this, could, this idea could be pop up in any colleges, but without the Dean's support, uh, that's impossible. Uh, Dean uh, Ronnie Elmore is really take on the students like his own kids. I think Jason can speak to that. Many times taking you to hospital to help you. So um, it's, it's really, uh, Dean Shanklin is very supportive. We went to China many times together. And uh, Dr. Marcelo uh, is here. Um, thank you for coming. And also you, you, send, you shake the hand so we can work. So, and Dr. Young is very important. Christine Young is here too. Uh, so actually, she really helped me get through the agreement. That's, that's a very big challenge for us at the beginning. And Dr. Bob Goodman is here too. And I want to recognize him because he is an advisor for those pro vet students, for them to take the right classes. So it's more important. His lovely wife, Dan Goodman, is here too. Um, so he been here. Uh, she has been at vet school for many years. Um, so those are from the colleges. and. Uh, also, the people here I want to acknowledge from the U.S. China Center, uh, Lei Wang is uh, really in the last few months beginning to manage education program. And some of them you know, you may not know, she's uh, my uh, wife, also partner, really helped me straight and helped me to uh, home and here. So I can honestly say without her, um, my life would be very difficult, and I don't know if we have a program or not. So, <laughs> so that's, uh, she deserves a lot of credit. Actually, a lot of ideas came from her. So she used to work behind the scenes. Now she worked in front. So that's, uh, and Dr. Beckley came to us uh, two years ago, um, and she's very helpful. She's managing uh, the research for the lab and also U.S. China Center. I can say this. So in the, I just count how many times I was in China in the last, uh, 16 months, I was 10 times or 11 times, I think. So I was not there in the lab, I know that. So it's really her, without her, the lab probably fell apart. So I really thank Amy uh, for that. And it's not busy enough for her, now she's having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really good. Now we have a wonderful group, I didn't list all the students. Uh, Su Li is another student, helped us do the translation. Back that table is really our US China Center students or, or friends. So my uh, so thank you for all your um, understanding. So when I'm not here, uh, you're doing a better job actually than I'm, when I'm here. So, well, without the people here, at least Megan Kilgore and her assistant, you won't have a lunch. So, <laughs> and the good ones is all because of them. I think Jill and uh, two Jills and also Ken going to make us look much better than actually better than I am. So those are video groups, and also we have uh, from the universities. Uh, for the communications, so all this will publish tomorrow I think, or Tuesday. Well, that's really from me. Thank you all again for um, your time.